Dear students, hello. I hope you are all doing well. Everything is okay. Last week, we start with you uh, a topic about waves. So uh, we speak about the definition of wave. We speak about types of wave. Uh, we also speak about measuring waves. So today we'll continue with our uh, topic waves and we have some subtopics. So uh, today the first thing which we will speak is superposition and interference. So if you are ready, dear student, I want to start. Let's start and see what we have today. So first, what is superposition? When two or more waves overlap, the resultant displacement at a point is equal to the sum of the individual displacement at that point. This is a principle of superposition. So when we speak about superposition, it means we are generally speak about two or more waves. Displacement is a vector quantity. So the sign is important at the point of overlap. If both waves have the same sign displacement, that is both positive or negative, constructive interference reinforcement will occur. At the point of overlap, the one wave has a positive displacement and the other has a negative displacement. Destructive interference cancellation will occur. So uh, about superposition, we have here two cases, constructive interference and destructive interference. And I think about them, now we have some uh, demonstration. So dear student here, uh, you can see that we have uh, two waves, wave A and wave B. Let me uh, here do a play. So if we do a play, so let me here change the amplitude of a uh, wave B and do it again. Look, dear student, they are both positive and the place where they are meeting, we have reinforcement. And here, uh, let's continue and say again. So it means uh, it's doubled. Okay, let's uh, let's change the amplitude of B. So here I can change the amplitude of B. If the amplitude of B will be zero at zero point, you can see. Okay, let me change the amplitude of B to negative. Can you see? We have cancellation. You may see here the uh, meeting point of point A and point B. So, in this case, we have a cancellation, low class. Yeah, destructive interference. Here we have no uh, wave, so it called a cancellation. Uh, in which case the cancellation occurs? It occurs when we have positive and negative waves. So, uh, one more time. On the other hand, if we have two positive waves, then the process of reinforcement is occurred. So uh, I think it's clear for you. Let's pass for the next our page. Interference patterns. An interference pattern can be produced from two coherent wave sources. So here we have uh, wave source A and wave source B. So at the green cross, the waves from A arrive one full wavelength ahead of those from B. So here uh, we may see that uh, the wave from A uh, arrive one full wavelength ahead to those from B. The path difference is one wavelength, one wavelength, and the waves are two periodian out of the phase. So uh, in phase the constructive interference occur. Constructive interference occurs whenever the path difference between coherent source is n times wavelengths, where n is a whole number. So uh, it is uh, the case about interference pattern. Point A, point B, we have two source and two source are producing waves and uh, taking into consideration that 
the point here, the green point, uh, is sign uh, is uh, the way from a full wavelength. So, and also we have the case about uh, interference patterns. So, let's continue. Uh, and on the other hand, we have the case about the red. So let me clean my line. Uh, we have the case about uh, red cross. The waves from A arrive half a wavelength. So here we can see the point. So at this point, uh, the wave from A arrive for half ahead of those from B. And then uh, let's see what we have next. The pass difference is one over two wavelengths and the waves are pi radians out of the phase. So it's anti-phase. So destructive interference cancellation occurs at this point. Cancellation occurs whenever the pass difference between coherent source is uh, n times the wavelength over two, where n is a whole number. So the whole number of the wave. Uh, then we have the case uh, about the maxima. So let's look what is maxima. Lines connecting points where the pass difference is n times wavelengths are lines of maxima, and they indicate where displacement reaches a maximum. So here we can see the points uh, which are indicated the maxima. So the green line, so the point here, which are crossed, uh, you can see over each side so these are our maximum points so please pay attention to these points uh, and then let's see what we have next lines connecting points where the pass difference is n times wavelengths over two are lines of minima on the other hand we also have the case about the minima the red lines here you can see are the minima so uh, they indicate where displacement is zero. Always remember, when this displacement is zero, uh, it is a case about the minima. Interference patterns can be seen in many types of wave, such as water waves, sound waves, and electromagnetic waves. So interference pattern, when we speak about, you have to take into consideration. Uh, they generally occur in the types of wave, water wave, sound wave, here and also electromagnetic waves. So let's continue and see. And here uh, we have uh, also another uh, example, sorry, another demonstration. Let me say it's not example. And uh, here we have two source, point A and point B. So as you can see from the screen, I may change their distance and I may change also their wavelength. So uh, in the first, uh, let's take the wavelengths as a five uh, and also distance as a five. So let's see what will happen. Yeah, we can see from the demonstration how uh, it's how two point interference. So let me change the wavelength to 10 and also let me change the distance to 10 and see the face. Okay, you can see the face, you see? It's getting red and great. So on the other hand, I also want to change the antiphase. So antiphase with wavelengths 10 and distance 11. So, and also interference lines here, the green one is maxima and minima. So here we can also see this case. Okay, let's finish with the demonstration and continue uh, with the other part. So double slit experiment, I think uh, we may skip. So uh, dear students uh, about the superposition, uh, what I want to explain you, it's actually uh, enough. So uh, I think we may stop our lesson here and uh, see you soon for the next lesson i also mentioned before if you will have some questions you may directly ask from me or uh, write to me see you soon